Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into the next recording mode of UFT which is called as Insight Recording Mode. Insight Recording Mode is another interesting recording mode in UFT which helps us to capture image driven scripts. Now there are certainly a lot of applications which we are talking about like flash based applications or picture driven applications or in fact when you talk about uh, these mobile apps which are quite an image driven thing and definitely it becomes quite difficult for identifying such objects which do not even exist and rather they are just a picture and you want to have an interaction with that. So we do remember playing some of the games which were flash driven and it was collection of images put together to be called as an interface and you have to just click on any of the part of the picture and that takes the necessary actions to move ahead. So today when you talk about any sort of games which you are playing is all picture driven interface and that's where the insight recording will be very helpful to interact with them and perform certain test activities automatically. So today we'll be looking and understanding on the same that how insight recording mode can be done or utilized as a part of UFT and run the test. So let's get started and understand the same in a very simple and quick way. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be understanding how to make use of insight recording mode in UFT. In order to begin, we just have to understand that how exactly some of the applications work other than an object-driven approach. Sometime within an object-driven application, you do may have a need of interacting with picture-based objects, which are not actually having any sort of properties, but they do just have uh, the specific uh, you know, pictures which drive you to the next page or probably to the next object or next interface. So a lot of these things can be seen in the games which you are playing today. In fact, the flash driven approaches or applications are widely using such things. So today we'll be trying to understand that what exactly is the concept of insight recording mode and how UFT can do that and how this recording mode is different than the one which we generally use in terms of default recording mode or analog or maybe even low level. So let's pick up an application which can be uh, created on that interface. For example, if I talk about the Windows calculator, which is a quite an image driven thing, and we would like to create a script on this and see that how exactly this works. So maybe these types of things are not actually an object and assuming that these are pictures and we are trying to do a calculation based on these buttons. So all you have to do is click on recording and just say OK here. And you switch to uh, the insight recording mode. And here you just start interacting with the application which you want to work with. And the uh, insight recording mode will capture all the interactions which you perform. For example, let's click on 7 multiplied by 8. I'm not sure if I remember those things, but yes, equal to 56. Then I just press clear and say 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 and I just press again clear and say close and stop recording now if you see my interaction is completely different this time we are saying it is a Windows app Windows dot UI dot XAML dot application dot insight object so now if you see it is not driven by the properties rather it is more of a driven by the uh, pictures which we have and that's where it is trying to recognize and see that whether if this top of this type of application or this type of object is visible on the screen then do this job it's not uh, object or property driven approach it's more of a picture driven the more the picture matches on the screen will continue to do the same job similarly if I go back to the repository to have a look on this we do see inside objects instead of like normal objects which you generally have so if you see here, I have inside objects which are picture driven and there are pictures as the properties for these objects. So that's where we make use of inside. So you may have an application where one of these objects exist or maybe you have an application which is completely driven by this. So let's try doing an execution on this to see that if it really works or not. Possibility as we see that there are some differences in the images here, for example, here, here 
and here I don't know what exactly it's captured at this point there's a line number seven but yeah let's give it a try and see how exactly it was let's click on run and pay attention to the calculator okay 56 2 uh, so the plus was not captured properly that's where we got stuck but good thing to see that that it was able to identify everything precisely like all other steps which we were conducting except the windows object inside object 7 which was not exactly able to capture the plus icon maybe i was a little fast on that but to be frank let me tell you the secret the reason it did not execute because the calculator now we are using is not actually an insight object it is a partial insight object that's the reason maybe this is not the recommended application for us to use but just wanted to show you that how insight recording mode captures an object and how it can interact back with it if there are any sort of images which are not captured properly it may not be able to interact with them at all so make sure that when you're working with any insight objects and you want to have an interaction with them then make sure that the pictures are captured properly if not try to recapture it or maybe just add it manually to make sure that it interacts with it and does the job what you're supposed to so that was a small tutorial talking about insight recording modes to give you an idea that how insight recording mode can be used in uft and how helpful it can be to test certain applications which my general recording mode cannot do so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning